Okay, so today we are going to learn how to find the net force acting on an object when the forces are not acting along a straight line. Okay, in this picture here, book example 14, you will see multiple forces acting on an object. As you can see, all, all three forces are acting in different directions. Okay, so to find the net force acting on the object, you will need to resolve vectors along two directions. As you can see, the 8 Newton force is vertically upward and the 10 Newton force is to the right horizontally. So it makes sense for us to resolve the 15 Newton force in the vertical and horizontal directions. Okay, so what we're going to do is to draw an arrow in the vertical direction that is just equal to the height or to the vertical component of the 15 Newton vector and then the horizontal component that's equal to the length or the horizontal component of the 15 Newton vector. You can see that these two vectors form the sides of a rectangle because they are perpendicular to each other. So you can actually represent the 15 Newton force as the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle with the angle 40 degrees between the hypotenuse and the adjacent. So Fx will be the the side that's adjacent to the 40 degree and then Fy will be the side that's opposite to the 40 degrees. We can find the magnitude of Fx by taking cosine 40 equals to Fx over the hypotenuse and then we can find Fy by taking sine 40 equals to Fy over 15. All right, because sine is the ratio of the length of the opposite side over the length of the hypotenuse. So to solve for fx, you need to take 15 multiplied by cosine 40 degrees. So that gives us 11.5 newtons. And then fy equals to 15 times sine 40 degrees. So that gives us 9.6 newtons. So I'll write that in the diagram as well. So now we have 10 newtons to the right and 11.5 newtons to the left, which gives us a net force of 1.5 newtons to the left. And if you compare the vertical forces, 9.6 newton downwards and 8 newtons upward, it will give us a downward force, a net downward force of 1.6 newtons. So now we have a vertical and a horizontal component of the net force. We can find the magnitude of the net force by adding these two vectors up. The diagonal to the rectangle will be the vector of f net, the net force. And what we can do to find the magnitude is to use Pythagoras' theorem. So the square of the magnitude of the net force equals to the sum of the square of the sides. f net equals to 2.2 newtons. To find the angle at which the net force is acting, let's take it with respect to the horizontal line. Okay, if we choose tangent theta, we can take the opposite side of theta, which is 1.6, divided by the adjacent side of theta, which is 1.5, as the tangent. Okay, so that gives us an angle of 47 degrees. So we can say finally that that force is 2.2 newtons at an angle of 47 degrees to the horizontal line.